Hello everyone, this is Suresh from SD Automation channel. Today I am going to start a new series on Cypress. In this series, we will cover topics like uh, introduction towards the Cypress, components, features of Cypress. Then we will see the installation procedure of Cypress. Later, we will design the test cases and execute them onto the different browsers. By then, we will achieve the cross browser testing. And later, we will design the framework using a Cypress like uh, BDD or basic frameworks. And in this entire session, we will be covering a few interview questions which may be helpful in the job preparation. So, do stay tuned for all the updates. Let's get started. For today's agenda, we will cover what is the Cypress, components of Cypress, where and who uses Cypress, Cypress features. What is a Cypress? So, Cypress is a free and open source automation tool with an MIT license written in a JavaScript. And Cypress is a next generation front end testing tool built for modern web. When it comes to the modern web, all the web technologies which uses JavaScript or the modern web like Angular, React, so all this we can utilize this Cypress for end to end testing. And integration and unit testings are easy to write and debug using this Cypress. And it is a built on Node.js and comes with a package as an NPM module. As it is the base of Node.js, it uses a JavaScript language for writing a test cases. And 90% of code can be done using a Cypress inbuilt commands. So we have more commands in the Cypress and which is easy to write and understand and implement this. And Cypress addresses the critical pain points like for developers and QA when it comes to the synchronization or inconsistency of just due to the elements like no such element found or element not visible available. So these kind of situations can be overcome by using the Cypress. So Cypress has been made specially for developers and QA engineers. Why? So if you take this diagram here on the left section, you can see when it comes to the end to end testing, we need to identify the what kind of framework that we need to use in the development and what kind of assertion library that we need to use like Shia or expert JS. And then it comes to the testing like Selenium and what kind of Selenium wrappers we need to use like a protractor or a web driver. When it comes to the Cypress, so all in one testing framework, assassin libraries with mocking and stubbing and all without a selenium here. So everything we have inbuilt where developers QA can utilize is end to end testing framework and components of Cypress. It has a two main components that comes by default when it installed like Cypress test runner and Cypress dashboard. And one of them is used as a runner to run our Cypress test cases in our local machine and other tracks our runs and status of our automation suite. And where and who uses the Cypress? So developers and QP engineers building a web application using a modern JavaScript framework, they can utilize this where both can collaborate in one end to end testing framework where they can utilize this Cypress. And Cypress enable you to write all types of testing like end to end test cases, integration test cases, unit test cases and Cypress can test anything that runs on the browser. So Cypress features, we have very good advantages over other tools available like uh, time travel. So time travel is a feature whenever you run your test cases, you wanted to see what kind of actions or how it be performed on the browser. You can see when you mouse over to any command on the command log, it will show you what exactly what kind of action it is being performed, what data it sent to the browser and debuggability like uh, you no need to bother about many things like stop guessing what is being failed. You can directly debug directly on the developer tools and we have an automatic waiting never add weights or a sleep method like uh, in Selenium you used to add like synchronizations right. So no need to do that kind of thing here Cypress automatically wait for commands and assertion before moving on and we have a species stops and clocks and which will be used to verify and control the behavior of the functions server response and the timers and network traffic control so easily control and stub and test edge cases without involving your servers you can sub network and uh, traffic network i mean you can design any network as you like and you can perform your actions and we have a consistent results here so cypress auto cypress architecture doesn't use as a selenium and web driver so you will have a consistent results over period of time and you have a screenshots and videos this is the one good feature which will be by default takes the screenshots automatically when you whenever you fail any test cases and we have one good feature of providing a video of your entire test suite whenever you runs from the cli 
and cross browser testing so we have inbuilt uh, browser selection here you can directly run your test cases onto the any browsers like firefox chrome family browsers like including edge electron locally so everything you can do it in the aspect of ci cd as well we will discuss everything in detail later on so key points of cypress it is the next generation UI automation tool which executes the test case directly inside the browser additionally it will provide the inbuilt test runner using which a user can run the test cases directly from the cypress ui it provides the dashboard services which will display the results of all test runs it provides the various unique features like time travel automatic wait uh, stops etc which makes it unique among the various other ui automation tools so these are the key points of cypress i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and do share your valuable feedback in case if you have any questions queries related to the cypress series or any other series that you wanted to put me up into the channel you can do post that, those questions into comment section also if you like this session do post a like also share with your colleagues in case the information is useful for you thank you